Good morning everyone, this is Richard from Sick of Training and thank you very much for coming on the 70th uh, Canned Workout. It's, it's Canned Workout, it's not a step up today, sorry about that, I'm just going to reuse it for today. Uh, it's the 23rd of September, not the 21st. Morning everyone coming in, yes all is well, better than it was. So, <clears throat> let's just quickly get over the paperwork. So if you haven't seen a doctor to allow you to exercise, please see a doctor. If you don't want to see a doctor, you can actually fill out my health questionnaire. If you want to fill out my health questionnaire, it's actually posted below this video on YouTube or on my website. It's, or it's uh, pinned at the top of my Facebook page. It's called the Park U. You fill out the last sheet and the first sheet. If you tick yes on any of those, you have to have a look through the middle sheets. Send it to me, we'll discuss it, and then we'll get exciting. Right, there we go, done. <coughs> Someday I might get that even faster. Good morning everyone, hello, it's raining, happy autumn. So, right, oh, I think I'll turn this down slightly. I hope everyone's all right. Yes, uh, thank goodness no migraine today. Oh, many, many different reasons why it actually came on. Uh, it happens unfortunately, sorry. So today is actually just a headache stream. Yes, so at least it's a reduction. But no, let's, let's enjoy ourselves. It's nice and uh, nice and damp outside, but it's still warm. I've got the front door open uh, because I was registering 27 degrees in here earlier until I opened the door and now it's 21. Right, 2020 keeps on surprising us. So today's talk is about exercise and mental health, particularly about mental exercise uh, and uh, maybe dementia or uh, people with a uh, problem with memories etc like that. It has been proven that uh, low cardio, walking, uh, getting yourself out of breath, and what I mean by low cardio is not just ambling along with your dog on the canal, enjoying the day, sauntering along, you need to be out of breath, you need to be slightly sweating. Okay so low level cardio, it doesn't have to be aerobic, it doesn't have to be high impact, it can be a low impact. But it has proven that it's actually helpful in dementia, uh, getting people going. Also, exercise. Exercise is great for uh, people with uh, mental problems, uh, especially dementia or anything like that. If you put in the different planes, you put in several different planes at once. What I mean by planes is just imagine bisect your body into three different sheets of glass. One going that way, that's called the sagittal plane because whatever's moving on that plane because you're following that glass, is moving sideways, or like Sagittarius with a bow. A piece of glass here is called the frontal plane, so every time you move out, it's on the frontal plane, because you're actually moving in tandem with that. Then there's one which bisects your waist, or halfway through, which goes flat. That's the transverse plane, so basically it's twisting. Okay, so the three different planes. So adding multiple planar, planar exercises help because you have to think about it. And that's the main thing, it's exercising your brain, your brain's a muscle. Uh, there's still, there's still uh, scientific exp uh, experimentation going on in this field, uh, but it's all looking very, very promising, mainly because of the dopamine, serotonin, which actually gets flooded into the brain. So what do I mean again by multiplanar exercise. Let's do an example, okay? I'm gonna do a lunge, okay? So that is a sagittal lunge, okay? So I'm now gonna put another planar in, uh, plane into it. So I'm gonna go, I don't, sagittal, transverse. There we go. You could add three. You could go lunge, twist, out to the side. But that's really, really complicated. And most people don't forget, or they fall over. You've got to be careful as well with balance. Going diagonally is not multiplanar. Okay? It's because what you're doing is you're trying to actually go in one direction and then another plane. So that's a good one. Also, I find exercise is great for me, uh, especially when I'm feeling down. It does actually give the dopamine and serotonin a good kick gives me a high for quite a while afterwards and it makes me feel good. I must admit before every class and every client I have a down moment. Now why would you say that? I'm quite upbeat and quite chipper. Well because when I start I love it. 
I love starting. It's the waiting. It's the ten minutes beforehand which gets me down. And suddenly I have a I have a, a dopamine dip, and I start feeling down, and I start doubting myself. Have I done the class correctly? Am I going to get the? Am I going to engage with the clients? Am I going to do the correct thing? Am I going to hurt somebody? So yes, I, there's there's times where basically I have to just kick myself in, and then just go into it. I just it happens every time. But as soon as I start, as soon as I press that button, my body goes straight up there. And because of you lot, thank you very much for that. So I hope this helps you in your in basically mental health, mental walks, uh, helps with uh, headaches. Unfortunately, it won't help with migraines, you can tell with Mondays. Uh, for people who haven't been on the stream before, I am a big proponent of basically do as I do and as I say. So if I say don't exercise due to an injury or something which could actually make something worse, I won't do it either. Which unfortunately may put some people out, and I'm terribly sorry about that, but I can only lead by example. Right, so today's exercise we're going to be using a step. Yeah, I know it's not step up today, but we got a step. Okay, we're going to use a step. We're going to use dumbbells. For people also who haven't come on the stream, I thought I'd just interject this in. It's been a while, it's number 70. Is you can use many different dumbbells, you can use pre-made uh, pre bought ones, cans, these are filled with concrete, crisp packets covered in duct tape and I think these are plasticine but you can put little bags of sand in as long as you really tape them up first and that's a little bag of plasticine, okay, so that's, I think that's 250 grams, uh, water, mat or Comfy, uh, comfy carpet. Right, so shall we get on with it then? We've got 10 exercises to do. I hope we've got 10 exercises. Let me just check. Yep, that's it. Yep, yep. I'm gonna kill you all. No, no. Right, so let's start with the warm up. Warm up. Let's start. Margin the spot. <coughs> it's gonna be a bit of a different one today. There's, there's some new exercises in here. Some of them are quite uh, challenging, but there are different ways of doing the exercises. High knees. Also, people who are new to the channel, what you'll see is you'll see a hand up there and a hand up there. Those are the different sides. If I'm facing you, if I say green, I mean that side. If I say pink, I mean that side. As you can see on me as well, if I turn around, pink and green. Right, so let's do one of the exercises we've got today, let's do a reach over. <coughs> so again, work at warm ups, should always warm up the body parts you're going to be using. And because most of ours are always full body exercises, we need to do the full body. It's a bit heavy today though isn't it with the rain, you might feel a little bit hard breathing, it just means your heart rate's going to move faster, just so be careful. Also be careful because blood pressure will be rising. So go at it easily. If you feel as though your head starts to get a little bit uh, congested or a little bit thicker, just slow it down a little bit. <coughs> Take a drink of water. Right, watch right on the spot again. Got water over there then. Right, let's push forward, cross your arms. Try and swap whichever one's on top. Pink on top, green on top. You decide. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna go down, we're gonna push down to our knees. Nice twist. Try and go slightly up. So it's almost like a roller coaster. See so hands going up and then down. Excellent, good. Keep it going. Right, we're now going to go to bum kicks. So we're going to kick our foot up, try and get it up to the bottom. Up to your glutinous maximus, minimus, medialis. Periformis, all of those at the back. Really work those thighs, nice and stretching them. Excellent. 
Excellent, good. Keep it up. It was a nice walk today. School lights away in this rain. Wasn't so bad. Quite enjoyed it. Everything's very nice and verdant. I always like it when it starts raining first of all, because all the colours really overbloom. Right, margin the spot whilst I, ex I explain the first exercise. What we're going to do is do sumo stumps, so we'll get into a sumo stance. So a nice wide stance, feet facing 45 degrees, knees following. We're going to squat down slightly like a sumo wrestler, bottom back. So you go back. <coughs> then what we're going to do is lift up one leg and put it down again. That's all we're going to do. You'll feel it right around the glutes and the side of your hips. Also keep Three, your tummy tight to actually stabilise that back. Ah, let's go. It's like a toddler saying, Mummy, me, me nappy's full. Or in that case, it'd just be <laughs> 15 seconds. Ten seconds. That's it good. Try to keep as low as you can. Three, Three two, two, one. Brilliant, we're gonna get the set. What we're gonna do is make sure that you're standing it fully with uh, all your all your feet. We're gonna straddle it at the side. I'm gonna go up, up, down, down. So it's up, up, down, down. Three, and then halfway through, two, I'll let you swap legs. One. Let's go. Two. A little bit faster than normal. You can go as fast as you want, as slow as you want. As long as you're safe. And if you're anything like me, I'll tip this up sooner or later. <coughs> Three seconds changing, two. One and change feet. Now how I changed that, I just tapped it down and started it back up again. Seven seconds. Three. Two. two one. one. Brilliant. Change right, we're gonna put this step away, gonna get the dumbbells out. I haven't done this one in a long time. We're gonna do round the world punches. So it takes a bit of a room. What we're going to do is we're going to lunge in four di uh, eight directions. So diagonal, side, three, two, back. I'll actually one. pause it. Exercise three. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go lunge with one leg, punch, punch, up, diagonal, punch in that direction, sideways, punch forward, backwards. If you haven't got much room, try and just don't go too far back. You're going to flock. Then you go backwards, flock. Backwards again with the other leg, because we're going to go around the other side. Diagonal, block. Side, punch, punch. Diagonal, punch, punch. And then front again, punch, punch. Swap legs, and go back round again. Okay? You might need a bit of room. Exercise three. If you have problems, just do dumbbell punches. Let's go. So remember to punch in the direction of diagonal of your foot. I'm actually back in the unit behind. Now remember when you just swap feet, just punch in the same direction. There we go. Just like a bicep Three, curl. Two, one, change exercise. Brilliant, right. We're gonna do line jumps next. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of the mats for this because I'll just them up. What you do is find a line. What we're just gonna do is gonna jump from side to side on our toes. People who don't want to do that, just cross Three, your legs over. Two, okay? One, so that's a low impact. Exercise four. Let's go. Just jump over that line. A little bit like skipping. 
if you have high blood pressure at the moment, you might find this a little bit difficult. So remember to try and breathe nice and deep. 15 seconds. Excellent. Three, two, two one. Change exercise. Brilliant. Right, we're going to to reach overs. So I'm just going to reassociate everything now. So reach overs, we just reach over, foot goes out, heel twists up, so you're working your hip, really push up and over. If you find that your knees go in, two, don't put your leg out. Exercise okay? five. So we're going to go up and over and swap sides. Nice and diagonal. Bothering me. Excellent. 15 seconds. Try and get that nice diagonal. Really stretch your lats out and work it nice and hard. Three, two, two one. Change Excellent. Brilliant. Right, we're going to get the dumbbells back. One potato, two. So you're going to reach out in front. Try not to lean back or forward in this. You will be, if you've got a weak core, you will. So keep your tummy tight, arms up. What we're going to do is we're going to round them over slightly. I'll do one potato, two potato. Exercise six. Okay, so up and down, nice and easy. Really going to work your shoulders. So again, don't lean forward and definitely don't lean back. You can do this without weights, it's hard enough with, without weights. 20 seconds left. Oh gosh, it's warm today. Like. Go on, blimey, governor. Three, Three two, one. one. Brilliant, right, we're gonna put the weights down. And what I'm gonna do the standing knee crunches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put two fingers on the sideboard just to give it a little bit of assistance. What you're going to do to bring your knee up, if you want to, if you freestanding you can bring your hands down at the same time. As you do that, it's almost like that heel Three, and that heel's two, attached. So you're one, lifting up exercise. on a calf raise on that one. If you can't do it, don't bother. So it's going to go up and down, up and down. So we're doing a calf raise and a knee rise. Might find a little bit disorientating. The two, chain three, two, one, and change legs. I find this hard because I've actually got my thrombus on this side, which gives a lot of tendonitis for me. But it's a good workout. Try to heal up as far two, as you can. One, change Brilliant, exercise. right. We're going to go back to the uh, dumbbells. And another one which we can, I will pause again. It's another new one. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift one leg off the ground. Dumbbells up, same side, together, over that elbow. What we're going to do is we're going to bring them down towards, your, towards the outside of your foot and back up again. Down, so bottom back. If you have problems with that, just have a wide stance and go to Wood choppers. Okay, we're going to swap halfway through again. It is a difficult one, so it's a good one for balance. And we're doing this like diagonal. Are you ready? Three. If I look two, anywhere else in front of me, I'm going to fall over. Exercise Let's go. Eight. Even thinking about looking over there is making me wobble. <laughs> as you can see, wobble. I shouldn't have worn these trainers actually because they're, wear, they're wearing as well quite quite un, unfavourably. Arm chain sides. As you can see, it doesn't matter if you wobble or less, right? Two, one. 
I hope you had a good, uh, good time with that one. Right, we're going to we're gonna get the mats out. We're going to get down into a plank position. Okay, so we're going to get down. What we're going to do is we're going to pull our knee in, and as we kick out, we're going to kick up Three, and push our shoulders two, back. One. Knee in, Exercise nine. shoulders back. So it's good for shoulder rehabilitation. Try and get that leg nicely high up. Try and watch out for the high ornaments. Now change feet in three, two, one, and change. Oops, Ellen's balloons go in there. Look at the hip balloons. Three, two. One, change exercise. Excellent, right, we're going to get the step back. Get rid of the balloon. Oh yeah. We're going to put our feet on that and lie on our backs. So nicely up against the glutes. What we're going to do is the raise feet glute bridge. So we're going to push up and two, then down. One, really work those hamstrings in your, in your back. So push those up, clench your glutes at the top. Try and avoid rocking the actual stool or step or board or whatever you've got underneath your feet. Gosh, it seems a bit manic today, this class. What are you doing today? Excellent, good, keep it up. I can't see the Three, clock. Two, one. Water break. Brilliant, water break time. And then we're going to go through it all again. So I'll move this out of the way for the line jumps. So how did you lot do? Did you do all right? Or did you have to regress? Doesn't matter if you regress an exercise, as long as you're working to your potential. But there was a lot of wobbling, wasn't there? Whoa, lovely water. Surprising how refreshing water can actually be. But my brain, when I go for a drink, it normally says coffee or tea. Never really water. If I go for water, I feel as though uh, it replenishes my body a lot better. Are you ready for a sumo stamp? Right, if you put a sumo stamp on it, will it come from China? Well, no, actually, it'll come from Japan, really. That's where sumo wrestling comes from. Right, so bottom back. Nice, you squat it down. Three, two, one. Exercise one. And oh, let's go. Sorry, <laughs> Can I mean, yes, wobbly legs, yes. <laughs> Number eight is down called wobbly legs. <laughs> well, I think there's some more comments. Let me have a quick look. <laughs> yeah, seven, the uh, standing knee crunch is a difficult one, especially getting up on your uh, calves. It is difficult, but again, it's something else to think about, and your calf doesn't really want to move. Three, two, one, change right. exercise. Let's even practice number two then. So it's just up, up, down, down. On the side. Oh, no, not two. Right, well, I wonder why, because we do that quite a lot in the uh, step up. Three, two, one. Let's exercise go. Two. I'm going to re grab this one because I like this one. And change your feet in two, one, and change. Three, 
two, one. Change exercise. Oh, I've tried to be enigmatic and just slide it out the way like that, but it didn't work. Right. <laughs> Around the world punches. I'm going to do mine actually sideways because I've got more room. Three, two, one. Exercise three. So remember, diagonal, we're going to the compass points. So you can see from the back how I'm doing things. Sorry, from the side I'm doing things. So I'm going to the diagonal back now. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Hey, I got all the way around that time. Line jumps. One problem with this Facebook chat feature, Three, it never rolls two, up. One. It's annoying. Four. Right. So let's bounce along. Remember, if you don't want to, you can always do cross steps. Cross steps isn't actually just going. No, oh, that's angry steps. Winky, winky. I'm just bouncing everywhere now. Have a bit of fun with it. No, you don't step on the cat. Ten seconds. Hardest one is where you actually have to jump into different Three, quadrants. Two, Whoa! One. Square jumps. Change exercise. Reach overs. In three, two. two. One and reach over. Exercise five. Try and get that nice long line. If you think about it, this one's actually preparing you for the actual calf raise because you should actually be pushing your toe in, pushing your heel down to really stretch that Achilles heel. 10 seconds. Five. Three. three. Two. One. As she says, change exercise. we'll change exercise. We're going to go to one potato. Have I put an alpha on, written on potato on my notes? Have I done it there? No, it's one potato. Go one six. potato, two potato, three potato chips. Or jacket potatoes, saute, dolphin was, croquet, oh, uh, mash, creamed, fried. Sorry, just got into potato mode then. Remember to not lean back. If you're feeling a little bit of pain in your lower back, that's because you're leaning back. Try and just lean a little bit further forward. Three, two, one. Change Excellent. exercise. Excellent, good. Right, we're going to do the standing knee crunch. That doesn't mean that when you do that, your knee goes That's bad if it happens. If it's that loud anyway. It just goes Three, not so bad. Two, so remember, we're going to go seven. up and bring our toe. Actually, we can, we can swap. So we don't have to completely tire in one leg. It's almost like walking happily down the street. That's it. And then we've got wobbly legs after this. Excellent. At least we're getting this uh, 
Same side workout all the time. Two, Two one, one. brilliant. Exercise. Right, we've got one of the legs. So for this one, again, lift one leg off the ground, dumbbells up above, and you're gonna go diagonal as you go down. I don't mind if when you go back, Three, you put your foot two, lightly on the ground one. just to stabilize yourself. That's fine. Because you're not using any pressure at all on that, oops, to actually stop you from working your hamstrings and your glutes. And we're changing in two, one, and change. Oops, wrong side. That's a problem with talking at the same time. Sometimes you get messed up. Oh, well, should I say I get messed up anyway? Three, two, one, change exercise. Excellent, right, well that's out of the way. Whee! Right, plank knee pull-ins. I don't know why it's called plank knee pulling, you don't exactly pull it in, you actually shoot it out. I didn't name this one. So, plank position, it's quite a good one, this is almost like a little bit of a downward dog. Exercise nine. So knee in, push up. What's the time? Seven seconds to change sides. I'm change sides. See, I said seven seconds and I missed it. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Brilliant, right? Bring the stool in. We'll do the uh, raised feet glute bridge. It's really good working out your hamstrings. Again, try and get your bottom as close to the, uh, to the box as possible with your feet Three, on it. Two, Don't have to be one. flat. Exercise you can two. see when I go up, my feet go flat, and when I go down, I'm on my heels. But I'm trying to push down into the top of the actual whatever I'm standing on. You can do this on the ground, it's not as effective for your hamstrings. And the good thing is, ending on this one, when you finish in 12 seconds, you can just have a quick kip. <laughs> nah, not really. Three, two, two one. one. Water break. There we go, I'm just gonna lie there and just die. Right. Move the mats out of the way again. Sometimes it's easy to work on carpet. Then you get the other exercise where the carpet moves underneath your feet. Probably with the uh, the wobbly legs. Because you're actually on one leg, if you're on carpet, your foot tends to move. Especially depending on how big the pile is. So sometimes it's good to work on carpet, other times it's not. If you do ab crunches on the carpet, you can get a little bit of a uh, burn. Just there. Oh, chocolate. I can't eat it, but I just found it just there. Wonderful. Easter Bunny's come round already. Maybe it's late, it got caught in that lockdown. Right, last time through. Confused. Confused.com, yes. Three, two, one. Yes, it was a bit better. It's right, sumo stamp. What I always say is on the first time through. Make a right mess of it because basically it's a practice. It's the other times through that you actually get used to it. I did, a te I did a, uh, an experiment where I did one class uh, the same for three weeks. 
And as they progressed, the first time they did it, they were terrible. It was a really complicated uh, system. The second time they did it, they actually, we did it in a time-based system. And they actually Three, beat the time by 15%. Two, one. And then the third Check time, it was like 10% better than that. But basically after that, it kind of, you had diminishing returns. Right, we've got a step, a side step up, up, down, down. So what happens is your body, when you first do something you've never done before, Three, kind of goes, I don't want to do this. One, exercise two. And it overreacts. Like most people, when you get surprised, you overreact. So what happens when you do that, that thing which you overreact at, happens again. You don't overreact as much, you're more efficient. And that's what your body's doing. It finds ways of actually becoming super efficient. And change legs. So unfortunately, if we don't do this for another three, we don't do number eight, the wobbly legs, for... Three, two, one. Let's say a couple of months, you'll be back to normal again. You'll be back to other action because you haven't practiced and practiced and practiced. Right, round the world punches. Remember it's lunging eight directions. And punch. And punch. Then when you go backwards, it's guard. Don't punch yourself in the face though when you do this. Sorry to say everyone, by the way, all the three kicks have been eaten. And they were jolly good. Especially warm. Whoa. Three, two, one. Let's get it in. There we go. So two turns round in four seconds. That's not bad. Line jumps. <laughs> Three, right, two, line jumps, one. you're jumping over the line Exercise or you're doing the four. cross steps. Now as, as I was saying earlier, if you actually want, want to go into a more complicated one, you can do what's called square jumps. The harder it is, the bigger the square. Because you're actually going in all four directions, you don't have to change direction at all. You don't have to go, right change, and then go backwards. Doesn't matter. But it's very good for the cardio. Three, and enjoyable for two, grandchildren. One, change exercise. Reach your Let's see what temperature is it still. It's still 21 and a half. Three, two, one. Exercise. Britain, what do you expect? Let's go. For those people who aren't in Britain, this is what Britain's like. You can never gauge one day from the next. Seconds. Three, two, two one. one. Change exercise. Right, right, we're gonna do one potato, two potato. So I'll just blind you with my ball spot then. Get ready, tighten that abs. That abs. That abs. Three. Tighten those two, abs. One. Exercise English, six. eighth language. So try not to hunch up your shoulders either on this because a lot of people tend to hunch up. So you're over overactivating your traps. And what you're trying to do is try to encourage your traps to go down. That's why the downward motion is really good. 
So you don't want to hold it too high, you don't want to hold it right in front of your eyes. It's just basically in front of your sternum. It'll be just enough. If you wouldn't know where your sternum is, that breastbone just there. Five. Three. Two. two one. Brilliant. Right, we've got standing knee crunches. So we'll do this again on alternating legs because I found that actually a lot easier this time. I think it's because you're not Three, overbalancing, two, not comp one, overcompensating for balance. Exercise seven. Let's go. So remember your heels are almost slightly connected with the invisible string. If you, if you find it difficult, you can always walk and turn around. But that is a lot easier to do than just standing on the spot doing it. Because you've actually got a little bit of forward momentum to help you get that bottom heel up. But this is a good one for runners. Because basically it's a, it's a running motion. Three, two, two, one. one. Right, power squat. What are, the, what are the legs? A bit of rigid dancing now. Muppet dancing. There you go. Three, so remember, two, one leg off the ground, one, dumbbells over the same edge. side, sweep down to the foot. Try and get that bottom back if possible. Oops, <laughs> slid over then. And change side. Thank goodness. This is where you know the concentration is coming in is when Richard shuts up. Three, two, one. Change exercise. Excellent, good. Right, we're back to the mats. I think exercise nine, yes, we've got the plank knee pull ins. Right, get ready in the plank position. Pull that knee in, nine. kick up. Try and get back to the straight each time in the plank. So when you get straight, your shoulders should be above your hands. I'm going to change this leg over a little bit sooner. Ah, let's change. Because last time, I'll let the other one go a little bit too long. Three, two, two one. one. Change exercise. Brilliant. Right. I thought we'd finish then. <laughs> Race me, Clue Bridge. <coughs> Three, two, one. And push up. Exercise. Right, those glutes. You're on glutes. Seconds left. Oh, I can see that now. 12 seconds. Oh, your glutes getting tired. Three, two, two one. one. Cool down. Cool down, right. We may as well stay on the floor. Let's lie back. Nice and easy. First off, let's stretch those abs. So we're going to stretch up to, the, to one side of the room and then to the other. Let me just stretch our midriff. Excellent, then what we're going to do is we'll sit up and try to touch our toes. You can't touch your toes, touch your shins. Try and move yourself slowly every, every couple of seconds. A bit further towards your toes.
Try to keep your legs down as well, don't, don't keep them up. You should be able to reach a little bit further now. Just do it until it's uncomfortable, not until it's painful. Excellent, good. Now what we're going to do is go, go back and put our hands behind us. One heel on the, uh, sorry, one ankle on the knee of the other. Bring the bottom leg up and try and push that upper knee down towards where your other foot is. So you're really, really stretching. I'm going to fall over in a minute. That part, your hip, your glute, you try to fall on this. All the different, all the different muscles around there. <coughs> Three, two, one. Can you ever it? Right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to turn over. We're going to get back into the plank position. Okay, I'm going to push up into a, like a, into a downward dog. But we're going to try and push our heels back so we're actually really stretching the calves together. So what you do is plank, hands underneath your shoulders, bottom up in the air, push those heels down as far as you can. Push back through the palms of your hands. Do you actually feel a stretch as well in your back? And also you'll feel it in the small of your spine as well. Because you can even push yourself up a little bit more. Really stretch yourself. If you feel the stretch more in one foot, just move them so you can actually feel the stretch the same in the fourth feet. Now you've got to be careful of going red in the face. So what we're going to do now, we're going to, you can get up. Well, I'm going to show you a way of getting up. But it's a good for the stretch as well. And you just come up that way. You've got to be careful though of lightheadedness coming up there. So low blood pressure, just be careful. Right, so we're going to go stretch the shoulder, uh, stretch the chest now. So hand, hands facing forward. So push back, try and get those shoulder blades down, chest out. Hands turn over. Push back more. The reason why you got extra movement there is your shoulder joints actually turn in a different direction and you can actually move it. Excellent, good. Now we're going to stretch forward now, so lace your hands together, turn your palms over, push out, really push forward, stick your bottom backwards. So you look like you'll dive when you're about five year old. That's what you used to do, you used to do that and you used to close your eyes and then you used to just fall forward and then you just used to let, let go and then just fall in the water. Don't fall forward now. Okay, good. Because so if you do, you'll end up like that. Or worse, you'll end up with your head on the floor and we don't want that either. Excellent, good. Right, shake it out. Last stretch, we're just going to stretch up really high. It's very similar to the last stretch, but we're stretch, trying to stretch everything, including your abdominals. In three, two, one, and hands down and release. And thank you very much, everyone, for a fantastic exercise session. Hope you all enjoyed it. I did, I must admit, it's nice. I'm literally dripping with sweat, which is a good sign. Also, probably with the... Three, uh, two. One, your timer is complete. Time's complete. So sorry, no more. Your first five minutes is gone. <laughs> right. No. So yeah, the 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 rain probably keeping the heat in, so that's why it's probably a bit warmer. Make sure you drink lots of liquid to get the uh, the liquid back that you've lost. And I'll see you all hopefully no not Wednesday on Friday morning at nine nine thirty for Freak Out Friday. I think I might actually put some bands into that, so bring some bands. If not, I'm sure we can actually create a version without them. But than that, have a healthy, safe, wonderful day. Keep safe, keep well, 
keep your mind going. I'm God bless and see you all later on. Take care all.